Okay guys, now the next plugin that we're going to install is called Robots Meta. And uh, for me to explain what this does, I'm going to have to show you. So I'm going to show you after we install it what it does, and I'll explain it to you then. So uh, let's go ahead and install it. Go to your left-hand sidebar, go to Plugins, and click on Add New. And in the search bar, search for Robots Meta. and click on search plugins and it should be the very first result that shows up it was created by Juiced Devoc and go ahead and click on install now and click on OK and click on activate plugin okay now if you scroll down while you're in the plugins menu you'll see the robots meta and right under the uh, the plugin is the settings. So go ahead and click on uh, the settings. And there's not much that we need to change here. Um, so make sure that yours looks like mine. Under RSS feeds, no index. The comment RSS feeds is checked. Under prevent indexing, all admin pages is checked. And if you scroll all the way down to the internal no follow settings, the no follow comments links is checked. Scroll all the way down, click on Save Robots Meta Settings. Okay, and now I'm going to show you guys exactly what Robots Meta does. So we're going to go to an existing page. Let's go to Disclosure Policy and we'll click on Edit. So follow, no follow, index, no index, what does all that mean? When the Google robots come to your website and they go through all of the, your pages, they index every single one of those pages uh, after they've been created. And this way they'll be able to show up in the search engines. They index them in the proper order inside of the search engine. So if you wanted your um, a page on your blog to not be indexed, then you could just select the no index option. And as far as follow, it's basically the same sort of thing except for um, Google will keep visiting that same page to see if it's been updated. And uh, to keep Google from visiting that same page over and over again, you can add a nofollow attribute to your page. So I'll show you exactly how to do that. A good example for using the noindex and the nofollow attribute would be for a disclosure policy or a contact page. So if you go down here and you look on the right, on the right hand sidebar, you'll see the robots made a box and we have an index and follow so that means that Google is going to index this page into the search engine and they're going to continue to follow it to see if it has been updated so since we don't need Google to index this page and we don't need Google to follow this page we can click on no index and no follow and then you can go ahead and click on update and you can do the same thing to the contact page so that's basically how this plugin works, and uh, I hope it wasn't too confusing for any of you. But um, the most important thing is that uh, the plugin has been installed, and we have the um, options to no index and no follow uh, the posts. So um, we'll probably do a little bit more with this later, but for now, that's all you need to know, and I will see you in the next lesson for the next plugin.